What's up, mate? What's up? I've got... Ah, that's my finger, you stupid... Go, go, goose? Doc Goose. What do you want? I'm Brian College, and in my spare time, I fish Northwest UK waters in search of a double figure car. Spending hours on the bankside, striving to get you the best fishing content. I'll bring you fishing with my family and with my friends and also with the mighty chat. Fishy, fishy, wonga, 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 fishy. Oh, fishy, fishy, wonga, wonga, fishy. Ooh. Oh, oh, do you like that? Yeah, welcome to Aquatic College. Well, good morning, welcome to Aquatic College. My name is Bry, and today is the 6th of October, which can only mean one thing. It's my last fishing week. So I've not caught a double this year. I've been so close on several occasions, but as per usual, I'm struggling to catch one. So this week, I have booked the week off work, and I'm going to try several venues to see whether I can catch a double-figure carp. So, on Monday, I fished Brookside Fishery on Linear Lake, which has got the catfish and the specimen carp. Uh, fished there all day. Uh, I had one on for five minutes. Unfortunately, I lost it. It was a hook pull. Um, it's definitely a catfish, not a carp. But uh, yeah, that was it for Monday. Nothing all day. So today, I've decided to come back to my usual stomping ground. I'm at Partridge Lakes and I'm on Holbar Lake and uh, I've managed to get peg 17 on the island. So I'm really optimistic. I was here back in July with David Savage uh, doing the, uh, the usual once a year competition with him. He obviously beat me. Um, that video is in my list and uh, I got a nine pounder then. I was so, I thought it was a double and it was only a nine. Um, so yeah, I'm here for today. Got here at just after seven. I didn't queue up this time. Um, managed to get on the peg. Um, I've had uh, no bites as of yet. But I'm here till about half past six. So uh, hopefully I'll catch some fish. So keep on watching and uh, wish me luck. I'm going to need it. So today I'm on peg 17, which is my favorite peg. 
and my left hand rod is in the place I fished a couple of months ago which is over in that alcove you can see in the middle of your screen now so that bit there that's where my left hand rod is and it seemed to be a hot spot last time when no one else was catching seen a couple of fish topping around there one was jumping out going all the way down this all the way down the bank the far bank so that's my left hand rod and my right hand rod is the usual just here off this margin generally there's a bite or two normally first thing in the morning late in the afternoon the big ones are going down the near side margin so I've got that one down there to easily bait up and as you've probably seen my casting in the past it's not the greatest so I've got one bank of rod that I can always get in the right spot and then my other one will go over there So it's 10 past nine and my left rod that was up against the far margin is gone. I've got this absolutely stunning common carp and you wouldn't believe it, it is exactly 10 pound. So my target to catch a double, I've achieved it already. It takes off the relief for the week, stunning fish. I'm gonna get a couple of photographs and get it back, but yeah, finally got my double this year. I can relax now. Well after that cop my swim went dead again. But I didn't really mind, because I'd already achieved my target. When creating YouTube content, I'm always really nervous that I'm not going to achieve what I've set out to do. But now that I've caught it, I can just relax. And enjoy the rest of it. Well, it's just after 11. Sims have been dead. Left hand rod's finally gone again, and I've got a nice mirror carp. Just over five pounds. Left hand rod up against the far margin. So yeah, there's been fish topping there. Last couple of hours, had a few liners, and uh, finally I've got another fish on the bank. Right hand rod, all I've had is a couple of bream. So uh, yeah, my rod's back out, and hopefully we can uh, get a couple more. Where are you at tomorrow? Oh nice. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to go, I've got a fish on. See you in a bit. Love you more, bye bye bye.
half past one and finally I've got a cool whoa, 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 whoa. keep still keep still keep still finally I've got a car on my right hand rod up against the margin and it's this little stunning mirror carp I've got a fascination with mirror carp especially dark ones I'd love this in my pond in my koi pond back home but yeah stunning little fish not gonna weigh it it's under five pounds but uh, it's probably my favorite fish of the day I'm gonna put it back now and uh, my rod's back out and hopefully I'll get another one so fish number four is this angry little common fought just as hard as what the double did I was speaking to a guy and he said that the small fish are fighting really really hard today so yeah left hand rod again far margin I can't see where I'm casting because the sun's in my eyes I'm trying to get it as close as I can and uh, yeah another common so uh, rod's back out and uh, oh, hopefully we'll get something a bit bigger on the next one Well, I've reeled in my near side margin rod and I thought whilst I've reeled in I'll show you what I'm using. So I am using a 8mm cell pellet and that is on a banded size 12 hook and on and there we've got the 11 pound mainline and then that goes down to a 24 gram method feeder and in there I've got something different today I've got a poloni mix sweet corn and then I've got a few mixtures of different size pellet uh, ranging from twos up to sixes and uh, and then I've got some krill sauce and some other sticky pellet sauce like an amino one um, not too sure about it it seems to have stained the bits of sweet corn dark so they're not as yellow and as vibrant as normal uh, usually I make the poloni mix with chili hemp and sweet corn and a bit of sticky krill and then I keep it in the fridge overnight and in the morning the sweet corn's nice and bright and soft this seems to have dried it up by leaving it out because it's in a big massive tub um, but yeah that's what I'm using and then obviously I've got the camo main line so that's what I'm using, that's what I've caught my fish on. So I'm going to just put my pellet in the mix. That's another thing, it's harder to get in with all the bits of pellet. But yeah, in the mix, we'll get it back in the margin and uh, hopefully it's not long before we get the next fish. Well I started today wanting to get a double and when I got that 10 pounder this morning I thought that was going to be the highlight of the day It's quarter past three and I've just caught this absolutely stunning mirror So 11.7 pounds which makes it the second double of the day It was the most lethargic battle but I'm absolutely chuffed to bits Mirrors are my favourite a double mirror is even better and I think this is the biggest fish I've caught this year so absolutely stunning I'm gonna get a couple of pictures and uh, have a lie down
first take. Fish, fish, crab, crab, fish, fish, crab, fish, fish, crab, crab, fish, fish, crab. First take, first take, first take, first take. Go. Go. Well, it's five o'clock and we've only got an hour left. And I was trying to do some B-roll, casting out my left hand rod, and my right hand rod went, and I got this nice little mirror carp. Say small, six and a half pounds, which normally would be a really good one for me, but after the two doubles I've got today, it feels really small. So yeah, but I'm chuffed, near side margins, getting some bites. Hopefully we'll get one or two more. As you can hear, the fish are jumping. So I'm gonna get this one back now, and uh, Hopefully we'll get one or two more before I finish in an hour's time. All those of you who watch my YouTube videos know that when I'm packing up, I keep my rods on the deck in the hope of one more bite. My left hand rod to the far margin has gone again and I've got a nice little common carp. So probably about four and a half, five pounds. Pretty small for today, but it's one more fish. So I'm definitely packing up now. So I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. I'm back on Holbar. Uh, unfortunately, I've not managed to get peg 17. Uh, there was one car in front of me, um, and unfortunately, they've gone on the only peg on the whole of Partridge Lakes that I wanted. So, they're really nice guys, though. They said they watch my channel, so um, I've given them some tips of where I caught the fish yesterday. Uh, in that little alcove, so hopefully they have a really good day today. There's four of them fishing all down that side. So I've come down to Peg 12, which is the other side of the island. Ooh. Other side of the island, um, and this is where I spent last year's last fishing week um, and managed to catch a double. So probably nice that I'm back on here today for the last. Um, my last proper carp session of 2021 so my rods have only been out about 15 minutes uh, no bites have yet um, it's supposed to be 15 degrees but it feels like a wind chill of about minus four um, the winds change direction it's actually blowing down this end of the lake rather than uh, up into where I was yesterday so that might be a good sign so fingers crossed I have a productive day as yesterday love yesterday Two doubles in one day, not had that for years. Um, so yeah, we'll uh, keep on watching and uh, hopefully we get as many as yesterday. So this is peg 12 and my two spots are, my right hand rod is up against these reeds. You can see the little bit of green there, that's my marker to the right hand side of that tree. So my right hand rod is literally about six, seven inches off the reeds. And then my left hand rod is up against the edge of this tree here. So I've had quite a few fish that patrol around the margins. So I've got my left hand rod up against there obviously it's really slack line i don't want the fish swimming into it so yeah there's that's my two spots for the day hopefully we'll catch as many fish as what i did yesterday it's warmer today it's about 15 degrees a bit overcast sun's not burnt through yet but uh yeah 
Hopefully. Got a lot more fish. Well, just like yesterday, it's a really slow start. It's now 10 to 10. My far rod's gone. The right hand one over to the far side. And I've got a little common carp. So just over four pounds. But it saves a blank. So uh, it's cold this morning. We're really windy. So I've got about 15 layers on. I'm trying to keep warm. Water's cold. So hopefully, hopefully it warms up and the bites keep on coming. But, uh, Saves a blank. Well, it's quarter to 11 and it's typical. You wait for hours, just changing the battery over on my runs camera and I get a double run. So the first one is this little common carp, just under five pounds. And then the second one, near side margin, is this nice common, which is eight and a half pounds. So hopefully the swims have finally switched on. I'm gonna get the rods back out and uh, Hopefully I'll try and catch another double. Well, I'll just give a fellow fisherman a pellet. Some of my magic cell pellets. And not for the first time. Big catch straight away. Oh, stunner that, mate. Very nice. I love a nice mirror carp. Great, aren't they? Superb. Well done, mate. Nice one. You don't mind being on video, do you? Do we yet, no? What's your name? Ben. Ben. Nice one, Ben. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you for your help. Well, no I'm not worries. giving Ben any more pellets because he's in again. Cell pellets doing the job. Looks like a decent one. Yeah, yeah. Well, to say today's been a struggle has been an understatement. Since that double run, I've lost a fish and then I've had nothing. It's now just after three o'clock. Far rod has gone and I've got this nice mirror carp. It's just over eight pounds. I thought it was really small until I got it into the net, but it's a decent size one. It's not a double, but it's another carp, and hopefully the bites have switched back on again. So it's not too cold. So it's about 15 degrees. So chances are it should switch back on. Well, it's been a bit absolute struggle this afternoon, and there's only about an hour to go. Near side margin rod's gone, up against the tree, and I've got a beast of a roach. I'm hoping this is not the last fish of the day, but it's been a struggle this afternoon. I don't understand the whole lake switched off. I've missed a couple of runs, but other than that, it's been dead. So I'm going to put this back now, and uh, hopefully it's not the last fish of the day.
Not two minutes later, same rod's gone again, left hand side, under the tree, another common carp. So probably the smallest one of the day, but it's a carp. Don't care what size they are, I do enjoy catching them. So I'm going to put it back now and uh, hopefully we can get a last minute one. Just a double to finish it off for 2021 at Partridge Lakes on Holbar. So wish me luck. five to six. I was just about to take my rod pod down as you can see. It's getting dark and I've had a double run. So the left hand rod underneath the tree screamed off and then stopped which only meant one thing. I've got an absolutely minging bream. Probably the worst fish you could ever catch. Slimier than a catfish. So I'm gonna put that one back now. Oh, disgusting. And on the rod, on the rod to the far side, I've got this nice common. So six and a half pounds, really nice fish, and a great way to end the day. So I'm gonna start to pack up now. I'll have my rods on the deck, which probably means I'll might get one more bite but if not then I'm happy with this so great day on partridge not as good as I expected after yesterday but I've had worse days so yeah overall nice end to 2021 on partridge lakes and uh, if I don't catch any more I'll see you tomorrow on the catfish lake at Brookside Fisheries Yeah, cheers mate. Well, in my typical fashion, I've left one rod out on the deck as I was packing up over to the far margin. It's gone off and I've been watching carp sucking pellets all day off the side. I cast it right up against the reeds. I thought it's got to go and it finally has. And I've caught a barbel. I don't think I've caught one of these this year. I know my dad hated them. I don't mind them but it's definitely the last fish of the session as I've got no more rods in the water. So yeah, that's it for Holbar, for Partridge, for 2021. Definitely the last fish and I'll see you tomorrow. So today's my penultimate day. So I've decided I'm gonna try and get a last minute specimen. So my left hand rod is my catfish rod and it's casted over to the middle and my right hand rod is in the margin. I've cast it out and I've fired out loads of boilies but this coot, well he's got other ideas. Look at him. Ah, he dropped it. Look at him collecting them. He's stacking them behind those reeds. God, I've got no boilers left at this rate. Little bugger. What's up, mate? What's up? 
I've got ah, that's my finger, you stupid go go goose, duck goose. What do you want? What do you want? I've got nothing. What do you want? What do you want? You're freaking me out, man. Let me see if I've got any pellets. One sec. There's a few in there. You gotta go easy though. Gentle. Gentle. Do you know what gentle is? Ow, you. I just rinsed them pellets. Big bag here. Look at this bag of pellets. This is because I like you. Ow, that's my finger, you stupid goose. Go easy, easy. Ow. <laughs> Enough now. You're freaking me out. You're freaking me out. Here. No. Go over there. Savage goose. Come here, hand man. Sod off. Well, the last day of my fishing trip. It seemed to be an anticlimax. Because the only bites I was getting was from more hens, geese, and myself. In the last minute, this happened. Go, 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 go. I had two missed runs in the space of ten minutes, but neither of them got hooked. No! Well, unfortunately, I had to get off the catfish lake early because it was fully booked up. So I've got an hour left before the fishery closes. So Mark's allowed me to come on to Kingfisher where I had a Mighty Chad competition and the last attempt to catch a fish. So I've come on to Kingfisher and you'll probably recognize it. I'm on the peg where I got lots of fish and I've casted my bait in this margin just off this bush here this is where I got a load of fish last time so the rods cast it out chucked a handful of pellets over can't see any action but it's my last resort to get a fish anything will do apart from a bream obviously so I can do my outro and it's the end of my last fishing week. Oh, some ripples in the side. See the ripples there? Unless it's a duck. No, it's a fish. So I'm gonna get by my rod now. Which is over here and uh, hopefully I'll see you in a minute with a fish any fish except a bream
That's the plan. <laughs> Needed one video to do a video out for. Well that didn't take long as you saw there was ripples in the side. My rod's gone off. And I've got the nice common carp. So I'd say it's only about four pounds. The size doesn't matter. I've waited all day for a fish and I've finally got one. So it's a nice way to round off my fishing week. Well, you know me, I always have one last cast. And I've got an angry common. 7.1 pounds. I would have been happy with this at Partridge. Bonus fish today. I'm gonna put it back. I think I've got time for one more before I need to pack up. I'd literally packed all my camera gear away. My rod was just getting my rod in. And my final carp of the day. Nice common carp, only about four pounds. Really lively, but it's definitely the last fish of the day because I've got five minutes to get packed up and get back uh, out the fishery. So yeah, definitely the last fish. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Like to leave your comments in the comment section. I'll answer them all and hopefully I'll see you all soon. Next year maybe, unless I do a Christmas special. Thanks for watching.